the uh, Planning Commission meeting from uh, July 10th. It's now 7.38. Uh, we'll all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Roll call. <clears throat> Henderson here. Shaw absent. Simpson? Here. Sleds absent. Malecki? Here. Patterson? Here. Okay. So we're, um, I have no amendments to the agenda, and if nobody else has any, um, motion to approve the agenda as presented. So moved. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Okay, so approval of minutes from June 4th. Uh, motion to approve as presented. Thanks, Larry. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Okay. Now, um, we're in the ordinance review, and uh, as you recall, we did Articles 1 and 2 last uh, time with a few uh, uh, modifications. There really is no Article 3, so tonight the review was to be Articles 4 and 5, which are, 4 is basically tables, and 5 um, was, uh, Okay, so um, anything, anybody have anything on the opening page? So section 401 and 402. Okay, I didn't have anything either. Okay, so now we're into the first page of the table, so 4.2 or 4-2. Um, anybody have anything? Yeah, I've got, I've got, really it's just a question. Okay. But uh, under residential use, yep. the second one down uh -huh. says the adult care facility. Yep. Uh, under office use, It says uh, adult care facility is special permission for RM. Okay, we're at. Uh, um, I don't see adult care in office. It's the second down on the residential use. Well, I see that on residential, but didn't you say something about the office too? Oh, yeah, under office it says senior housing. And then you permit it under our. Or do they mean? Do we really mean for it to be special, under residential, and permitted under office? Um, well, you're right. It says under adult care facility. Um, it's special and special on R one and R M. And on office thing, it's nursing home, foster, assisted living, senior housing. Um, so I think senior housing would be different than adult care facility. That's what I was really questioning. Yeah, I, I, I would think so because senior housing could be, um, a, a, a senior housing is not assisted living. So um, it would be. Uh, could be an apartment complex. It could be um, like the uh, um, I don't know what's it called north on the west end of town now. Yeah, the village yeah, something. Advantage living. Advantage living. So they have um, money, many different functions or, or different uh, things that they run under, <coughs> and one of them is uh, a senior housing project. Well, they basically have small apartments, and you can have assistance if you need it but it's not there so um so but i i, I, I think really there's question. i think there's different uh, different classifications about foster is where you take them into your own home 
Oh, okay. You take on foster children in your home. You oh, that's foster. Awesome. Adults in your home, where these ones are actual buildings meant for assisted living and care groups. So the only one really that kind of mixes the two is the under office where it says foster care group homes. That would be the only one that wouldn't fit in that sentence. Yeah, because then it's, per, well, oh, okay. So it's in special on um, both of them. Yeah, I could see if they were, like I said, it's both special or both yeah, permitted I'm, under both, okay. but. Okay. So I think uh, that Barry's looking at will just kind of have the planner um, kind of uh, look at both of those. Good, good job. Uh, so where are we at here? Okay, so um, I had something right there at the very beginning. Uh, it says animal and agricultural uses. So um, we don't really have enough property for a farm. Um, uh, the, the farms, greenhouse, nurseries, I mean, there is some underdeveloped, undeveloped, not underdeveloped, but undeveloped property, uh, and it's 80 to 100 acres uh, on the southwest quadrant of the village. So some of that could be that, but there's, um, and then <coughs> the other thing was riding stables. I don't right, think, yeah, that's I, I don't think we have riding stables. Right, no. I mean, that's, that's, that's not that. Even if that whole thing went to that, that's not, uh, we don't have enough property for that. So the, I, I think we should kind of look at the <coughs> produce stands, farm markets, garden centers. Um, so you could do a garden center if we had something. You could do a feed store because that's what the elevator partly is. Um, a produce stand, uh, we, it, it, it would, we don't have anything that fits that currently, but it would have to be something that would uh, uh, be in some property that we don't have developed yet. Um, so anyway, uh, so everybody's in conjunction about deleting the riding stable? Yes. Okay, all right. Um, so then before we go any further... Yeah, I'm wait, gonna, wait, go back up, because in your veterinary clinics, kennels, and animal shelters, uh -huh. you have that it's a special approval for R1. But wait, 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 what was this now? The last one, veterinary clinics, kennels, yep. and animal shelters. Uh -huh. But under home occupations, which by definition is in the R1, it's a permitted use. Really? Yes. So the definition. Yes, it was quite so, a few of them that I found that way. Um, so and then uh, um, I had this too. So it's permitted. It's it's special approval in R1, but it's not permitted <coughs> in RM. And by um, definition, you kind of want the, the so what your R1 is your residential. RM is multi residential multiple. So if you're going to kind of, the, a planning thing would be, your nucleus would be your bedroom, so that's your R1. So you're, then you would have a buffer of a uh, multiple, and then you would have commercial, and then you would have industrial. So everything kind of buffers. So it doesn't make any sense that it's permitted in R1, but not in R2. So I, I kind of put in so that the veterinary clinic chemicals in animal shelters would be special in RM also. So now, what did you say, Becky, that is permitted? Under in home occupation? Uh-huh. Well, i got to find home occupation. I know, I made that note and then I don't remember. Under home occupation. occupation See, that's like, why you'd want to read the whole book. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Under home occupation, it is an acceptable, um, it's an allowable home occupation. So, and, and what is? The animal the shelter or the animal? And and um, so, but it's, it would have to be limited because you're only allowed to have four animals. Okay. Um, 
Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's not permitted. Oh. It's specifically prohibited in R1. But oh, but we're it's allowing special. It okay, special okay, here. all right. It's prohibited. And that kind of... Um, So, okay, so what was prohibited? The kennel. The kennel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, um, and we already had, so we had Krause's property, the veterinary thing, and we almost had a kennel go in there. Mm -hmm. um, so it is, it is a use of that property. Just I don't want to get to chapter six. Maybe we want to take that out. Yes, prohibited. Yeah. Because there probably won't be another clinic. Um, it could be other things, but I mean, it's it's all in residential. And Correct. Um, <clears throat> okay, so. Okay, but if it's not permitted, okay, so, but the cows thing isn't a home occupation. I get that, but you are saying that cross would be the only An exception. exception because yeah. Yeah. it's not a home occupation. Yeah. <clears throat> so we could leave it that way. Yes, we could. Okay. Okay. Um, so... But how do you make it special approval in one section and not and it prohibited in another? Well, again, if, um, but again, see, that's, that's the difference between this necessarily does not go to home occupation. Home occupation is a totally different thing. I understand that, but by this... It would be a standalone business and not, not related to a home. Okay. So if it's a standalone business, it would need special approval. If it's right. not home, it would be prohibited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, I, I said I was going to step back. So actually, you guys were doing this. I was doing this and this. So for years, I've kind of referred back to this one because this is how I started. So this is a copy of the zoning ordinance from 1985. So, um, I was reading this and some of the stuff I remembered and uh, some of it I kind of, I didn't remember. So, but anyway, what I'm getting at is on page 4-3, the second line is two family or duplex dwelling. So it's permitted in RM, special approval in R1. But in the old ordinance, it was permitted in R1 if you were on Main Street, Fulton, or on a corner. We talked about that. Right? Uh -huh. Yeah, and it is in the old ordinance. Um, I'd like to revisit that and maybe change that. So that old ordinance is partly in the new ordinance. I mean, if, if, you're on, if, if you're on Fulton Street, you got one of the bigger houses and you want to make it into a duplex, um, you're on a main street. Mm -hmm. or if you're on a corner, then kind of like the Spears house we talked about. Right. So that the house, I, I understand from what you said last time, I think, is it never went to a duplex, but it was approved as a duplex. Right. And that was because it was on a corner. So, um, and uh, I guess I was kind of the, I guess I must have been um, referring to this ordinance, but that's how we did it, was because it was not a corner. But we did do special approval land use, so we did do that. But it would be nice to get rid of the special approval if... If it's in the... If, yeah, if it's in the guideline of the, the, the major street, so Fulton or Main Street, or on the corner. What do you think? I agree. Okay, all right, okay. Okay. 
Okay. So then, um, um, how about 4-3, Any, anybody got anything else? So the, the second to the bottom one, video rental establishments, uh, I don't know if we really got to list that anymore. Um, if we were going to have a line item, I would say that that would be more like computer sales and service, but I don't know if we really need to um, list it solely, do we? I, Probably not. I, I'd say just get rid of that, wouldn't you? Just delete that line. Okay. Okay. So, if anybody have anything on 4 4? Cemeteries are, you know, they have, do have residential around them. As a kid growing up in Detroit, I delivered papers in one of the cemeteries. Um, okay, in 4 5, uh, there was two things. Um, so the first one was the Fourth, fourth one, which is a uh, automobile truck and other motor vehicle fueling stations, gas stations, and similar facilities. Um, it says that you can do it in C1, C2, um, but nowhere else. I think it should be allowed in industrial, also under special approval. Because if you do motor vehicle fueling station, um, that's, uh, that would, in my mind, would construe more uh, trucks than cars. Right. The gas station would be cars. Yeah. So then the next one was um, car washes automatic and self-serve. So it's permitted in the C2. But if you look at car washes throughout your travels, car washes are usually on main streets. Uh, yeah. um, but it doesn't matter if they're off times in residential areas and sometimes they're in commercial areas. So uh, they've only got it in C2 is permitted. I'm uh, saying that it could be uh, special approval in RM and special approval in industrial. If you kind of look at the industrial thing, they're allowing a lot of things that aren't industrial, but would be supportive of that, uh, of those industries, right. and a car wash would be. Yeah. So, you know, they're allowing a restaurant, they're allowing clinics, doctor's clinics, yeah. uh, right. stuff like that, right. in, uh, in supply housing, uh, in industrial, so that would go along. So the next one that I had was kind of near in the middle, a little bit down below, uh, or it was right below the car wash one. Um, uh, so it says cinema, motion picture complex, outdoor, indoor, where we're going to have an outdoor, outdoor right. you know, where we're going to have a drive in. Right. You know, so just delete that one. So I don't think we're going to have a motion picture complex, but you know, the outdoor one, uh, I don't think so. I just wanted to cross out outdoor. And I think that we could delete that whole line because down below it says cinema right, the next or motion down. picture. Right. You know? So I think really, if we just had one of those, we really don't need to have more. I don't think our major is going to have a cineplex. Are we 
putting it under, well, they, so that's the leading. With the outdoor one, though, they had it under special in right. two. Right. So what they we're doing is we're just deleting that whole one line that says cinema, out. motion picture, yeah. complex, outdoor, indoor, three and so more, and just leave the, uh, right. the one below where it's permitted in C1 and C2. Okay. So, and then the um, next one was the dry cleaning, central cleaning, processing facility. So, um, when I first moved into Armada, where, uh, what's Susan DeMille's real estate office? What is she? Armada Properties. Yeah, or yeah, Properties Unlimited, okay. Yeah. That was a laundry. That was a commercial laundry. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what they did, but they mainly did sheets and towels. So it must have been like a hospital or hospitals or hotels or something. Um, so I, I just threw that out there. So um, we could leave it as C2 and, and, um, and that's probably, I kind of put it in as a special approval, but uh, let's just leave it as not permitted in C1. Okay? So I just kind of threw something in there. Okay, the old guy was right here. I've got a question also, the one above that. Uh -huh. It says yeah, drive-ins. You don't drive-ins anymore. Right. There's very few of them left, and they're not very profitable in the end. Well, actually, so, no. hey, hey, Dennis. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you came in, because uh, we're going to go over, I like the beard. Hey. Yeah, um, and the tan, you're looking good. Uh, so we're going to go over one of the, uh, we're going over a zoning ordinance. Oh. And five oh. has all the general dimensions, dimensional standards. So I'd kind of like you to give us some input on that. Dimensional standards is like setback type thing? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and I did see some uh, kind of uh, inconsistencies. So they say that one section says you, uh, a porch does not go into the setback, right. but another section it says it does. Right, right. architectural features. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, kind of, if you would go over the existing yeah, go over that and kind of see, you know, give us some input from your perspective. Sure. Sure. Cool. Okay. And then. Uh, um, we're still struggling with the new sign ordinance, <laughs> trying to get signs to pass, you know, that have to conform. Oh, had that non-conforming signs? Had to turn down, well, Becky you knows, Foster Oil and then now St. Mary's. And, uh, and it, it, St. Mary's is pretty close, the Foster one of this gigantic sign, you know, like three or four square feet bigger than what they have now. And what they have now is not conforming. Correct. Yeah. Correct. For the new one. Yeah, yeah. For the new standard. Yeah. So setbacks and stuff like that. Take a look mm -hmm. at that. How soon before you're going to adopt the new ordinance? Or right, it's going to be a while. So you just, is you just starting our workshop yeah. now? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. But this is that's a, that's the section where that's the second section we're going through this evening. So um, I don't know. I mean. What we're going to try to do is section by section. Uh, so if you kind of give us something before the next meeting. You do a setback right now? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I'll take a look at right here. Okay. Okay. So sorry, Larry. What was your thing? Uh, that was a question about whether the drive ins was any longer necessary. Oh, okay. Because even the drive through, we don't drive through. Really well, we don't have them, right? but I have been to places where drive throughs are. I don't think we have room for um, them, do we? No. But there are, uh, uh, so like the old A and W things. That's kind of what I would think of in a drive-through. But there is a, and every once in a while you'll see them. There's drive-through mini marts. Yeah, I've seen them down in the city. Uh huh. And they're they're not. Uh, they used to be quite a rarity, but and they're still rare. But you see them. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we should. 
totally delete that or just leave it as special approval. Because they're what I was thinking of is the drive in portion, not the drive through portion. Well it says drive in or drive through. Yeah. Um, but who has um, so A and W is kind of gone doing that, but somebody else is doing it. Sonic. Huh? Sonic. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Sonic is a, um, and doesn't. Uh, I've been to Sonic that they're on roller skates, mm -hmm. like the old A and W. Do they still do that? Yes. Uh -huh. Sonic, I thought was the one you went up. Oh, they and she brings it out and what you order it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. you you can sit in your car and order just like you used to. Right. Yeah. At the yeah. microphone yeah. thing, yeah. and then uh -huh. they bring. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I think as long as it's viable, we should leave it. Okay. Not saying it's going to happen, but uh, it, it hasn't gone by the wayside yet. Okay. Um, so the next one would be four dash six. Um, anything? Anybody got anything on that one? Already deleted the package liquor store ordinance. Where do we see that one? It's right. Go back. Uh, it's right. It's right. Four dash six. It's the one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Oh, the right. whole ordinance is deleted. Okay. We took that one completely out. Oh, delete. Okay. So, okay. So that's package. Did everybody get that? So is that what we the package about? liquor store. So it's the fourth one down. Mm -hmm. uh, that's already been deleted. So we did an ordinance change in that. So, but the second one down, outdoor cafes and eat, eating areas, um, it's special approval. We're not doing, spe we shouldn't do special approval. So if like the, uh, um, excuse me, uh, like um, Cozy's came in, we should make them do a special approval on that. We should do stuff that has uh, um, conditions, special proof allows you to do conditions, and we should still keep the conditions, but I don't think they should really have to spend a thousand bucks to do a special approval. Well, she didn't because she did it under a sidewalk cafe permit. So is there a way to differentiate or take that out and assume that all outdoor cafes are going to be classified sidewalk cafes? Um, no, because there might be something that isn't a sidewalk. I can't see it in what we have now, but so like <clears throat> um, if we did allow licks to come in, that wouldn't be a sidewalk. No, I know. Okay. Well, I, I agree, I, I don't think it's a test paper I would not have for it. No, I think, I think it should just be um, permitted, but you have to come in and do an application. Christy? Makes sense. How do you want it worded in here? Well, at, the, the, at this point in time, we'll just. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, huh? Because it says shall be subject to all the requirements of the sidewalk cafes of the village code of ordinance. I think it's 6505. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just read, you know, little Well, I know. Things. Yeah. No, I thought I was trying to access it for a permitted yeah. restaurant use, so that's exactly what licks would be. Yeah. Chaps would be, but I agree, it should not cost them that much. They should be able to come in under. Yeah. I agree on that one. <clears throat> okay. So then at the same page, third up from the bottom, it says showroom or sales office, indoor only, for sales and rentals of automobiles. There's not going to be any buildings that are <coughs> big enough to house in cars inside. Although, where Bowie's used to be, I heard that was that was a car showroom. There's either cars or tractors. There years ago. Yeah. Hmm. Well, no, I've been here over 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> that was more like 50 or 60 years ago. Wow. Well. Damn. Um, okay. Uh, 
Well, if you have boats, the boats are going to be outside. You can have a showroom, but I don't know any car dealership or any boat dealership or any RV dealership that has everything under a roof. Every, right. So they have a showroom, but everything basically is outside. Mm -hmm. So I don't see that happening in Armada. No, I don't either. <laughs> but you know, it could, it, you know, in um, some annexation thing, it could be. But I, I agree with you, Dennis. It's not really. Doesn't look like it's on the horizon anyway. No, uh -uh. you might be surprised. Yep. Mm -hmm. I just heard you real sold, and uh, Foster's going to make it into a gas station. Yeah, yeah, that's a scuttlebutt. And I'm kind of curious. Well, that's a scuttlebutt. So I'm working at Ray Township in the building department, and they're actually going to present a plan Thursday. No oh, good. And I guess they want to start this year. Yeah. So I just wonder how much this could affect this gas station. He doesn't. Well, dang, it's pretty bad when you're your own competition. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He doesn't see it as yeah. bad though, because now he's got yeah. traffic from both directions. Yeah. So. Yeah. Plus that one has the liquor license and right. Uh, no, he does. He doesn't see it as too much of a downfall towards us. Well, if this station is busy basically all the time, right? So um, it's the only game in town, you know. Yeah, he, he's adding more clientele and not really taking away that much. Right. Well, after you leave us, you have to go all the way down to what twenty three. Yeah. Before mm -hmm. the next gas station, yeah. so I yeah. think it, it, or or Romeo Plank at thirty two, right? right. Yeah. yeah, going yeah. in that direction. Or Richmond, so, yeah, right. Yeah, and Richmond's all the way to Grasset. Unless you can go to Main Street, then that's his too. Right. Anything new with Fritz and their uh, their condos that they're talking about on by the new sub? Oh, Fritz thing. Um, no, there's nothing new. Because they were looking at the doing a senior complex back there, right? Or over 55 or something like that? Yeah, but the, 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 the number of housing wasn't going to work. Um, there's no way we could make it work in our ordinance. So then now the question was lift station capacity huh. uh, to do a lower um, uh, uh, Lower density. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think there's any capacity. Mm. So I'm not sure. That was kind of, it was left up to find out whether or not that was so. Question. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hello. So what do you want to do with that one? Uh, it's kind of a non entity. I think I'd cross out the indoor in, but I don't know. Do you, you want to leave it in? Not oh, heard it the end. It says rental of automobiles also, yep. and something like Hertz or Enterprise or something like that. Sure. Sure. Or, or it could be U-Haul. Yeah. 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 So I'd say leave it. Yeah. We'll just get rid of the indoor. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So like you don't just get to come in and you know yeah, walk yeah, out. Just just like, yeah, you do. <laughs> what did we agree? I had a yeah. half hour meeting tonight. Yeah. That never yeah. happens. <laughs> never. Okay. Um, so uh, tobacco, cigar, cigarette shop. So uh, it's not allowed in C one and it's special approval in C two. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. Right, that's just commercial, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So I think it should be permitted in both C1 and C2. Permitted. Oh, that's permitted. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'll take it now. Okay. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. No big deal. Um, so then, how about four yeah. seven? <laughs> So um, the fourth went down, uh, well actually the sixth went down to so the last one. It's heading is light industrial activity such as, so if you have light, 
do have heavy, and I would think that the um, first one would be heavy. So if you're, but you delete welding uh, shops, metal shops, uh, maybe not paint mixing, but paint spraying. Um, so uh, metal casting, smelting, plating, damping, uh, um, those things could be construed as heavy uh, industrial, but we don't have a heavy industrial and light industrial. So, um, I, and then the welding shop, or the, the welding, they have it so that it's special approval in industrial, but down below, under the light industrial, it's allowed. Where is it? So it's the third one now, black methane, furniture, cabin repair, manufacturing, machine shops, and welding shops. So what is it? Well, it's not so I own a welding shop, and it's in industrial, and I should be in industrial, and it shouldn't be a special approval land. Here. Um, so we, do we want to make a heavy and light? Because this ordinance, this chart kind of does that in the sense that it says light industrial or light industrial activities and then it has something above that isn't light and it's um, more towards heavy. But if we do that, then I want to do yeah, so then we'd actually have to create a no, whole nother section if we do that. Right. So it'd have to be industrial, light, and heavy. So instead of a high, we'd have to have a high one and two, or I, H, and L. What do you think? Just have one, or you want to have two? I think we just need one. Yeah. Okay. Make it simple. I agree. Okay. So then, um, um, but now we're saying permitting. Then. Yeah. So then, okay. So now, now we'll talk about what's permitted and what's not. So if we're going to just keep one, I would suggest that we just do light industrial, and we don't allow heavy industrial. So the first thing is electroplating. Electroplating is what Park Electric does. So electroplating is acids, uh, nasty chemicals. So I don't think I'm, Park is grandfathered in, but um, I don't think that's something we really want. Um, so then paint mixing. So uh, anybody that mixes, that sprays paint, mixes paint but it wouldn't want to paint manufacturer. So that would also be, so when we did, uh, the, I don't know, we did the master plan or something, um, we kind of uh, tried to make the new industrial section be so that it didn't allow any, any type of industry that would cause contaminants to the groundwater or the water supply or, or, or air. So metals cast, cast, metals casting is, um, that's a lot of fumes and there's a lot of toxicities in that. Same thing with smelting and plating. Um, fabricating, that's a welding shop, it's a different, different name. Uh, so uh, that's uh, allowed down below. Same thing with welding and sheet metal shop. Sheet metal shop uh, is basically somebody that makes duct work for uh, um, uh, furnaces and air conditioners. Could be industrial or could be residential or commercial. But, um, so and then stamping, so um, anybody that has a fab shop could have stamping, but I would think that the stamping plant, there are stamping plants, that's heavy industrial. We sh that, that shouldn't be allowed. So, dyeing. Um, so you could do dyeing with uh, um, with clothes, but in an industrial thing, again, that's that's chemical. I would say no to that. Um, shearing, punching, uh, an automatic screw machine, and rolling mills 
all those things could go in a fab shop, but to stand alone, um, then maybe not, because punching, shearing, that's a hammer. And if you're continuous all day long, it actually goes into the ground and it uh, transfer. So The only really keepable ones are the welding and the fabricating, which are already listed under the industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we were to just lose that whole first section. Yeah, I, I just say delete that whole section. One question I have is you said pig mixing, does Ace mix pig? Yes, and, and, and again, so that, would be, so that would be for usage. So Ace mixes paint, um, uh, and a, anybody that paints mixes paint. So um, we have a fab shop, we don't do a lot of painting, but we do do a little painting. And um, so you, you, everybody that paints mixes paint. So we, the guy paint houses mixes paint, you know. He's got a couple of cans of this, a couple of cans of that left over, and you know now he's got a new color that looks okay. <laughs> um, but to manufacture paint, oh, that's something different. Yeah. yeah. So that's not mixing paint; that's manufacturing paint. So we're just going to delete that whole section. So then, if we go down to um, the second to last one, um, it says manufacture of artificial flowers, ornaments, awning, tents, bags, cleaning, polishing, preparing, brooms, brushes, buttons, novelties, canvas, bars, clothing, blah, 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 bicycle, shoes, casket. The next thing was brick. So um, if you're making brick, so that's brick block. Um, uh, that's I mean, that would be, uh, I mean, we could do that, but that's that's kind of a bigger, that's a big operation. But if we have a big enough uh, area, so like Michigan Block, Toit has a, uh, a block plant. Um, Toit's, huh? Toit products. Well, it's actually Michigan Block, but Toit, yeah. In Romeo, they have yeah. a block plant. Oh, they call that Michigan Block now? That, it's, always, it's always been Michigan oh. Block. That's a big... More of a heavy industry, huh? Kind of, Almost kind of, but you know, is it, it, you know, really, it's noisy, but it's, you know, it's surrounded by warehousing, outside warehousing. So you're buffered just because of your stockyard. Mm -hmm. Distance, yeah. So I, we could leave it in or take it out. If it takes too much, I mean, it's considered heavy anyway, so not light. And yeah, it take but then more than what we actually have. There's nothing here for them, right? But then you kind of, if you go over to that, if you go to that one, then you look at glass. What's it take to make glass? You know, if you're artisan, yeah. now that's totally different. Yeah. You know, so if you if you delete that one, so it could be artist. Artist really could be in C two. Or an artist could actually be a home occupation. Well, all of those actually, mean shale, tile, terracotta, those are all big factory type things. I don't know. It was just mine to bring up the question. Um, I, I don't really have a druther one way or the other. I want to ask the planner, see what he says? Sure. Okay, all right. When in doubt, ask. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if we're done with that one, we'll go to 4-8. Um, so then, this is also industrial, um, excuse me. Um, the first one, um, again, we're kind of uh, uh, into that heavy industrial stuff. Um, and I would say delete the whole first thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And 
if we're going to delete that one, I'm almost thinking that we should delete the second one too. Mm -hmm. Paper products, so you got wholesale stores of <coughs> chemicals or petroleum, really don't want that. Right. Um, manufacture processing or production of paper products, cement, lime, gypsum, oh that's heavy. Right. <coughs> and then, okay, so we're going to delete those two. Yep. Okay. Uh, outdoor storage, um, I, I, I think that's good. I mean, you, the, you're kind of <laughs> warehousing, so you kind of have that in an industrial area. Right. Um, uh, so a special approval in um, C2, permitted in industrial, I think that, those are fair. Larry, there you go. Christy? Uh, the next one uh, I got was power plants, hazardous material storage, and waste tire facility. How about no? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then self storage warehouses. So those are kind of self storage warehouses and family. Mm -hmm. Why would that be in special approval? So warehousing, it could be, Van Pamela is basically residential stuff, um, but a warehousing could be anything, uh, uh, like a big box, huh? like a big box store. Well, it could be a big box store, but it could be industrial, could mm -hmm. be commercial, could be building supplies. Yeah. You know, I would say that uh, um, with the self-storage warehousing, so, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It should be permitted, but we should maybe have some stuff of what could be stored. Or stored. Yeah. So, we would kind of make that um, permitted, but uh, no. Uh, how about? Hazardous materials or chemicals. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, next one um, slaughterhouses, rendering plants. Canneries, commercial stockyards. Um, I I I don't know. I I would say that's basically kind of a heavy industrial thing too. So sounds like it. Huh? It sounds like it. Yeah. I mean, canneries, chemicals. Right. Uh, What do you think? The only thing I don't like is that it glue, glue, have you ever made glue or soda? No. It stinks. Yeah, well, that's uh, my my thing is whether we leave it in or delete it. Oh, okay. I think it falls along the same lines as all this other stuff we're deleting because it's not really considered light industrial. I'm just going to take it out. I agree. Okay. okay. It's out. Um, okay. So how about four dash nine? I don't have anything. Larry? Fine with me. Okay, so the only thing I had two things. Circuses, fairs, carnivals, and similar uses. Mm -hmm. uh, so special approval and C2. Uh, R1 and R M. So 
Um, we do have stuff downtown that's basically circuses, fairs, and carnivals. Holidays being one, uh, times when they close off the road and they have all kinds of stuff there. So really this ordinance doesn't uh, portray what we actually do. Yeah, I would say so. Circus fairs, carnivals, uh, um, no, but then maybe we have another thing. Uh, so uh, parades and uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know how to word it. So, but leaving this as is for special, and then adding another category. I I don't know. I don't really know if we don't do the parades and that is special. Um, do we? Well. Okay, so the fair, so we, so we have the, the fairground, so if they do anything, do they need to come in for a special approval? I guess they're going to run downtown. No, they're in a village. No, that's true. Yeah, but we don't want them just traipsing animals through town. We don't want them just traipsing animals through town. True, but... Um, I mean, one year they had Clydesdale horses. I was kind of all in favor of that. Yeah, but why is there thing? Yeah. yeah but mean, as a special approval, then... I don't know. The, uh, the fair's been here is, as long as the village. Yeah. I don't really think the fair should have to submit to a special approval. But you can't say the fair doesn't have to and the next guy does. What's that? You can't say the fair doesn't have to submit to that, but the next guy does. Well, who's the next guy that says fair? Well, you're just saying our fair. It also says circuses, carnivals. I mean, it's another True. company True, right? wants to come through. Okay. So, but then, um, where would they house that? It would probably be the fairgrounds. That's the only area to do that. Well, but when they have the Boy Scouts camp out here, or the alpacas, sure. or yeah. all those special horse shows. Uh -huh. so, I mean, they don't come to planning for that. No, I mean, it, yeah. it, it's just a run off the fair. So I really think this, we need to clarify what this is because n nobody does this. So we've never enacted this. So do we do something with it? I say no. If you only done with the fair, like they'll work out with the police as far as, you know, they're in the council mm -hmm. as far as, don't they pay extra for the sewer charges yep. mm -hmm. during that time? So that's yeah, kind of a special thing. Yeah. yeah. But and then the beer tent's got to be inspected by the fire department. But yeah. other than that. But like you said, they, they have all different kinds of shows: the dog show, the horse shows, the I don't the, the antique tractor shows. They got all kinds of things going on over there. Weddings. So you're saying to keep it, or to make it as permitted in the C2, but keep it as special if they're coming into R1? No, I don't think Holly Days and Armageddon should be special. Well, I thought you said you were considering them as different than what this says. Well, but I, I, I do, but again, we got to clarify what this is, because circus, fairs, kind of and similar uses, none of that stuff applies in special approval land use as to what we're doing today. So that's that's my my statement. Okay. So we don't make anybody come in for special approval land use. No, we don't. Hmm? No, we don't. No. So uh, either we are going to make everybody do this or we're going to get rid of this or rewrite this. I would say get rid of it because anybody has to already come to council it's affecting council. The, the streets streets and, and right. works so, for me. Yes. The village facilities that's true. Come to council. Yeah. So that's fine. Okay, so the next one is mining and extraction. <laughs> so, um, Armada's 560 acres? Something like that. I know we're not even a, we're not even a square mile. Section is 640 and I know we're not that. I think we're five something. So I say delete that. But if you go into the next section why Dennis is sitting here, if you dig a pond and, uh, and you could say, well, who in the heck has property big enough to dig a pond? I do. I could dig a pond on my property. 
um, I have the proper set, I have enough setbacks. Um, and so does Sharon Krauss, so does my neighbor Drinkhorn, so does Jerry Poston. So there's quite a few people that have that criteria. But if you, the way the Article 5 reads in the section, if you dig a basement or you dig a pond, you have to have a mining permit. I don't think those two should, it should be in the same classification. If we allow mining, that's a, that's a gravel pit. I don't want to have a gravel pit. If, if we extract some dirt from a pond or for a basement or for leveling off some property, I don't think that should be a mining permit. Okay. Dennis? Well, is it kind of a land balancing thing, you know, and not really mining? No. Because mining is, they're taking it out and hauling it somewhere and selling it. Exactly. Like gravel or sand. Uh, okay. I don't okay. see that happening. Okay. You know. Okay. Right. If you're digging a pond, they normally get a solar erosion permit from the county and, or a waiver, and then yeah. we'll yeah. look at the setbacks, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Make sure it's the it's a nice slope so yeah. people don't fall in deep water right away. And mm -hmm. okay, so we're going to delete that one too. Okay. Cool. And thanks for sticking around. So now we're up to you. Okay. The clock is ticking. I, I, <laughs> somehow I figured that. Send me your bill. Uh, yeah. I know, so I'm just going to get to <laughs> Sure to go far. Um, okay. So on 5-1, so we're Article 5, Conventional Standards. So we did really good through that, because that was kind of a big section to go through, and there was a lot of changes, so real good. Um, okay, as I said earlier, I was going through the old ordinance from 80 which was redone in 92 and 95 again. So, I've been saying there was an R1A and an R1B. Well, I was correct, but there also was an R1C. So, I talked to the planner today, and he says, I, I said, I was entertaining the fact that we should have more than R1, period. So, he said, yeah, that's not a bad idea. So. I'd like to entertain the fact that we have an R1A and an R1B, kind of like what we used to have. So, but going back into archives and seeing what R1A used to be, um, R1A, uh, so uh, let, me, let me step back here. I'm going to tell you what R1 is today in our uh, ordinance. So, the building height in R1 maximum is 30 feet, and there's two and a half stories. Uh, it's the lot, lot width is 70 foot, lot depth is 120, and the square minimum square footage, so those are minimum 70, 120, uh, and the minimum area is 8,400, and maximum coverage was 35%. Well, in the ordinance from, from 95, R1A was 12,000 square feet and 90 foot of frontage. R1D was 9,600 square feet, 80 foot of frontage, and R1C was 8,400 and 70 foot of frontage, which is our R1 today. So we took the two larger dimensions and deleted it. So in so 23 years ago, um, Armada was a much larger lot size. So, but 1,200 square feet is over a quarter of an acre which is a pretty good size lot, which I kind of like the big lots. Um, but uh, as a developer, as you know from Fritz coming in, um, it's, it's not that it's not feasible, it's just that the price of the housing goes way up. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm not saying what we should do. I think we should think about it um, as what we want to do if we want to make uh, the um, R1B, a larger lot size, or maybe a smaller lot size. In a Fritz Phase 3 thing, we did a lot averaging, and that was at 63 feet. So the senior thing, or the housing complex that uh, Jeff and Norm Fritz had proposed not too long ago, was down to 46 foot. There's no way in heck that I think that 46 foot is, is, is yes, it's just, you know. It's too dense. Well, and, and you could do something like that if you did a, uh, a, a planned development um, and you had a lot of open space. 
so the park area, common area, but he, he didn't have, they didn't have any of that. Um, so I, I agree with you, Larry, I think that's way too small. But I think we should entertain um, something uh, with, with, with a different, you know, have a little bit more flexibility in our lot size. So, and I asked the, uh, the planner, Brian Keithy, today to kind of give us some ideas of, you know, what's, what's more um, uh, in today's standards. So, other than that, I got nothing. It seems like housing is downsizing now. You know, people are going yeah. to the smaller homes, single, single women, you know, husbands are gone and they're in the smaller, Condos, they don't want to heat a 1,200 square foot, or they want to heat a 600 or 800. You know, well, so they could afford for one, right? Yeah. You know, and, and the uh, demographics, you know, the baby boomers are aging, so you know, a lot of want smaller houses, right? You know, on smaller lots, so that that was one of the things that was attractive with Fritz's thing. It just was not attractive enough to rewrite an ordinance to get something as like but it does make sense small. to have the open space if you're going to go with small yeah so at least yeah. they have a park area to move yeah. into not be Felix sardines <clears throat> in the way that our uh, plan development reads we can only we can only do uh, alter lot size or decrease lot size by 10 percent with that plan development so even with that, at 70, you can only drop it down to 63, which was basically what we did in Fritz Phase 3. So even that didn't get close to 46. Right. So, but anyway, so it's just food for thought. I brought that up. Uh, the planner thinks it's a good idea. Uh, we'll kind of get an idea from him on what direction we want to take. But then we should also think about what we want to take. And again, uh, through doing this, we're going to invite the public. I, uh, to come in and we're going to have uh, something called a visionary workshop and we'll talk about what we're planning to do before we write this ordinance. So um, our original plan was to go through a couple of sections, uh, get the planners review, but I actually want to read this whole ordinance and I think we all should read this ordinance and then I also want to get one from somebody else and read their ordinance before we start writing anything. I don't want to write it, write it, write it. So um, I think maybe we'll do a couple more chapters and hopefully I can get through this one and maybe get another one. And then there's this thing, uh, the Michigan Citizen Planner put out by uh, Michigan State, which I got from Becky last week. And I started going through that, but I just couldn't, my brain's not big enough to do three at once. <laughs> so I'm just a water. Okay, so moving along. Do you, huh? you have a calculation error here on that first page? Each yeah. side yard, minimum of each side yard is six feet, but a minimum of the total of the two is 16. So each side yard either needs to be eight, or the total of the two needs to be 12. Okay, so where are you right here? Right. That first one. The minimum of one is six, but the total of two is 16. That's a bad oh, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Good catch. <laughs> okay, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so, but that, um, so what we should do is uh, delete each. So side yard says minimum side yard setback. So side yard setback of 16 foot total of two, or so excuse me, six foot. One, one could be six, six okay. and then uh, one, one could be ten. ten. But, so you can't have two six. Correct, yeah. So the, the, the thing okay. where we we'll just delete each, gotcha. and then we're good. Okay. Got it? Everybody good with that one? Okay. Yeah, thanks. That's the kind of thing you get all done and you go, oh, shucks. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, so this is a spiral bound book, um, and if we did anything, like we did the sign ordinance, or if we decided we want to do a little something, um, you can't do it. So the book is the book, and you can throw pieces of paper in the back. I want this next time. Mm -hmm. So we can just 
take pages yeah. out and put pages in. Right. So I talked to the planner, he said that's no big deal, uh, they could do it that way. Okay. So, okay. Um, so 5-3. So this is kind of where I asked Dennis to be. So um, if you look at um, B on the first section, it says, um, use any portion of the lot in front of the building line shall be used for ornamental purposes only and nothing shall be placed upon except porches, fences, trees, shrubs, items, or similar nature. Or, or of similar nature, excuse me. So, except porches. So, okay, so then you go down to the bottom section, 5204B, uh, right. and it says porches, decks, and blah, blah, blah. Um, may project up to 8 foot into the required front yard and 12 foot into the rear yard and nothing shall protect into the side yard. But then you flip, flip the page over mm -hmm. and you go to the, the top B and it says lot coverage. This should be included in lot coverage mm -hmm. when you calculate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it says, accessory garages, other structures, porches, patios, decks shall be deemed part of the primary building for purpose of determining determin compliance with the lot coverage requirements. Okay, so it's lot coverage and not setbacks. Right. Okay, so that was my mistake. I saw that. Huh? I did see that as well. Yeah, but it, it's, it's two different words. So yeah, one right. setback, one's coverage. Right. coverage. So, okay. So okay. They're, they're not contradicting. Uh, right. That was that was me. Okay, so we're good with those, Dennis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking about uh, porches projecting, out, a guy on First Street just did a, uh, a yeah. accessible ramp. Yeah. Well, that was allowed because mm -hmm. you're allowed to project into the front yard. But previous to that, we didn't really, you know, that was kind of like, do we really want to let that happen? You know, but they are. We're seeing more and more of those ramps. Mm -hmm. You know. As people get older. Well, I remember coming to a, a, a ZBA meeting and the guy came in, also not on Burke Street, but on uh, not Church Street. What's the, what's the next street over? The little. Oh, uh, Floral. No, the little street behind Bowling. Crawl. So, Crawl. Oh, yeah. Crawl. Crawl. So that guy came in because he wanted to do a porch, but his porch actually is allowed. So he, he was doing. I forget what his what his setback was, though so he was encroaching into the setback. Right, right, yeah. For that, he wanted yeah. to have that porch on. Oh, okay. So I, I was wrong about those things, but what happened to my pencil? Like this. I didn't take know. Okay. Anyway, so um, the same page, uh, D two. I didn't understand this. Maybe one of you guys can explain. It says areas lying within a delineated wetland area or drain easement be considered or counted for more than 20% of the total minimum open space requirement of this ordinance. What the heck does that mean? Hmm. Bad grammar. It's the way it is. It's bad grammar. Yeah. It's bad grammar right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that needs to be clarified. Correct. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'm not nuts. Oh, you are not, but it needs to be clarified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's my pencil. Okay, okay. This is okay. Okay. This is okay. And this is okay. Okay. So then, um, how about 5-5? Five, five? self-sufficient or self-explanatory right. but okay when we were doing the uh, kennel gal that was moved into Krause's area right. so we had a question about a fence in the driveway yeah. right. so I think we should have that in there so I, I've yes. taken that as to 5305 uh, and then we'll try we'll do driveway uh, entrance clearance um, 
So we'll do a maximum of 30 inches height and then like a setback of 20 foot from the sidewalk or from the right of way. So that would be basically a car or pickup's width or length. So you're not always going to be right up to the right of way, so it gives you a little bit uh, room back. You guys like that idea? Mm -hmm. I think it ought to be stated. I think so. Because there's, there's been more than one occasion where we kind of yes. looked for that, but we couldn't find it. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So, other than that, anybody else got anything? Yeah. Oh, pretty good. I got a question for you guys. What are your thoughts about parking down at our Bay Grade? All the stuff that Lance parks down there, and then Larry's automotive. Well, what do you mean Lance parks? Well, like Lance's got the White Star Movers and different things in the back there. That's, you know. that's Larry. Yeah. So what normally, I know I talked to Lance about this a while back, talking about doing screening, and I wonder if, if, if council, I mean, if uh, planning thinks we should go after the war and say, well, hey, let's get something for me. Well, not the outside storage? Um, right. Okay, so in industrial, you've got to have outside storage. But if you, um, and, and this is just going to be my interjection, Larry's doing something he's not approved for. So Larry doesn't have approval to store stuff on land. Right, and that's what I'm trying to say. I want to, I want to try, can we bring him into compliance? Is there something we could do on planning to do that? Or instead of just slapping them on the rest and say, you can't do that, you know, we like to have a business, but is it better to have him in a, in a fenced-in area? Well, you know what I'm saying? Where it's, it's more, it's not seen by North Avenue people or, or anybody going, you know, going around Lance's area. Well, and, and Lance's storage and my storage, so we're both allowed to have outside storage. So, but we're both approved businesses. Larry is not an approved business in that area. So I would say that him, you know, he's approved for where he's at on the other side of the street. He's not approved to be where he's at on the east side of the street. But is there something we should do? I mean, you know, like, can he put up, can, so in other words, he can't park anything over there. He's not supposed to. I would say he has no approval to do that. Yeah. So is it something we even need to address then? Should it's, we? It's very possible. I know, uh, um, I don't know, I kind of, I mean, I, I, Larry's a bit, you know, good business for Armada. Sure. You know, how do you, how do you manage it? You know, like I think as people are parking over there on the other side of the trail, that could be behind Lamp, the, the grading office. Yep. Mm -hmm. Back there. Yep. But all the other storage, the long-term stuff. They kind of cleaned it up a little bit, some of the boats and stuff like oh, that. Oh, they did immensely. I mean, he probably had a hundred things back there. Before. Right. There was and I talked to him, I talked him about two years ago about that. Yeah. So the we, elevator got made him clean it up. Should we have Should we have Larry kind of come into planning and talk to you guys, or what do you What uh, are your thoughts? It would, it would, it would probably um, be. Uh, I don't know if they're swapping or what the kind of business they're doing. If, well, I don't if know you. I don't know what their agreement is. You know, or because um, Larry's running out of room, as you guys know. You know. <clears throat> well, but most of that stuff he's got back there isn't what he was approved for. That's not work he's doing. And then what did you guys approve for next, you know, where Larry's his, his old place here as far as storage and all that at work? He was supposed to store his records in there, period. That was it. Because I'm sure they're doing work in there. Oh, they are. Yeah. They're not approved for that. So you know, is that something? Thing, you know, him park, doing all the parking and stuff and being the kind of he wasn't proof of that. The only problem we have is um, um, well, I don't know. So uh, why don't we talk with Mark and 
get a game plan. Right. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't really want to bother anybody. I'm sure you want the business to flourish, but you know, yeah. on the same token, do you want to right. let them just take over and do what they want? Sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I've kind of, and I, I said something to Becky uh, earlier tonight. I'm going through a uh, informational thing, and it's in preparatory to doing the zoning ordinance, and it's put out by uh, somebody, and it's quite. I don't know. It's it's for big government, and I really don't like big government. So, uh, is that the one the company's putting on? No, it's actually Michigan State. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're they're continuing that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. So yeah, let's let's talk about that. I'll run it by Mark. Yeah. So if anything was done, so it would either be through. Uh, code enforcer or planning. It wouldn't be council, but it kind of like to have Mars input before we did anything. Right. Cool. Okay. Uh, I have no chair report. Um, we had public comment. So, uh, next agenda, agenda item. Motion to close the meeting at 8.52. Okay, second. All in favor? Aye. We're out of here.